There is the other side of the coin, though, and that is the quarterback on the other sideline, and that's what we're getting into right now. We are presented by Progressive Insurance, and all guests appear via the Goodyear hotline. Harold Arthur Douglas IV, <laughs> allow me to ask, ask you this question. Is there really any reason whatsoever for the Cleveland Browns to still have faith that Baker Mayfield is their quarterback of the future? The only thing I can think of is that they watch Kings of Comedy and they're living by the hope theory, right? They're trying to hope Baker Mayfield can be whatever they want him to be. But from the looks of last night, I don't know, Baker Mayfield has a long way to go. And I understand he's injured. I understand he's that whole ordeal. But he's out there playing. So if you're out there playing, I expect you to play at a high level, uh, point blank, period. And you, you see last night um, a lot of things transpire, right? Baker Mayfield turning the football over. Um, he tried to fit a ball in the area where he had an open tight end in Joku. He could have just threw it down uh, to the underneath route, right? There's times where he's holding and patting the football when guys are wide open, right? There were nine sacks last night by the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Some of those sacks, Baker Mayfield holding the football too long. Got to get rid of it. Now, the, other, the, the rest of those sacks, I'm putting on Kevin Stefanski because why are you leaving T.J. Watt one-on-one -on -one with anybody? I get it. The view is best from the cheap seats. Yeah. But Baker Mayfield's been hurt all year, but he's also been on the field all year. And I'm so tired of hearing about it because if you're out there, you're out there. We get it, dude. We get it that you're tough. We get it that you're laying it all on the line. But what Baker Mayfield doesn't seem to get is that this is actually the National Football League where, shockingly, business decisions are made based on money and performance. I know that's a foreign concept, but he has to get that he's not going to get the longer-term contract that he wants this offseason. He has not proven it, even though he went and played injured this year, Harry. Fine. A lot of guys play injured all the time, and you don't hear from them about it. And, then, and I'll tell you, it all boils down to this simple fact. Baker Mayfield has to be better, Chris, at the quarterback position. He, he, he has not been good this year uh, for this Cleveland Browns football team. You've seen last night uh, or this season period, he's had a lot of balls batted down, especially last night between T.J. Watt, Cameron Hayward, and other guys. He had a lot of footballs being batted down. And when I, when I, when I was watching that last night, the first person that came to my mind was Mike Tannenbaum and the things that he says about <laughs> Baker Mayfield. So I'm literally... He's short? Uh, yes, he's short, <laughs> that whole nine. He's not athletic enough. And, and that's all I kept thinking about. But uh, when it all boils, that boils down, Baker Mayfield has to be better at the quarterback position. The most important thing for a quarterback is to take care of the football. If you don't give the football away, you have a chance because they have a run game, a run game that's very efficient. Now, it wasn't that efficient last night, but this entire year it has been. But if you keep giving the football away, then you're decreasing the chances for your team uh, of winning. But I'll say this also. One thing we do know, it wasn't damn Odell Beckham Jr. Let me put that out there because everybody yeah. liked to, hey, Odell, this is this. No, it wasn't Odell Beckham. It was Baker Mayfield. Point blank no, period. It it was not Odell, although Odell did check out from the standpoint of, you know, uh, when I'm going to go somewhere else, I'll I'll play a little bit better. I think there is an aspect of that to it. Well, look what he's doing with the Rams. Look at yeah. the touchdown catches he's, have, he's having right mm -hmm. now, right? And then you look what he wasn't doing in Cleveland. So that lets me know right there alone that it wasn't Odell. I, it, I, I think that with the situation the Browns are in, the most intriguing part of it is that there is this notion that somehow uh, you have to make a long-term decision now. Harry, why? You you, you don't. You don't. It, it's, it's $19 million that is guaranteed to Mayfield for next year. Yep. He's going to be the quarterback for the Browns next year. I fully believe that because I don't think there's going to be a better option. And when you spent the number one overall pick on him, and he's sitting there and that money's guaranteed, you made that decision, and I'm not even calling it the wrong decision, but you made that decision, you may as well. well you may as well <laughs> give it one more year and see what happens, and worse comes to worse. He plays great, and you can't work out a long-term deal, you franchise. Yeah, basically it, what you're saying is that the Cleveland Browns made, made their bed, so now they have to lay yeah, in it. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And I don't, for the life of me, understand why it's such a wrong thing 
to ask somebody to play out the length of their contract at the beginning. What? Why is that so wrong? Why is it automatically assumed that you need to get a longer term deal or even a, a two or three year deal now? Now, Chris, that's on a manageable number. I can understand that if they are outplaying that deal, but that's not mm -hmm. the case for Baker Mayfield. He's not outplaying his deal. That, 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 that that's that's obvious. The the problem is he feels like because he is playing hurt that he deserves it. Welcome, That's what it feels like to me. Welcome to the because, National Football League. Yeah. And, and, don't care I about mean, your feelings, Baker. I promise you Tell that. me about that. Like, did you hear in those comments a guy who's annoyed about the fact that he's getting criticized even though he's playing hurt? Tell him to sit down then. Give somebody yeah. else an opportunity. If you can't play, don't play. My point exactly. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.